I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. A quick walk through Holy Week. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharon is caring when it comes to Higher Things content, and donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us a rolling, and we need your gifts in these dark times. Christianity has a pretty important week. And whether you're an evangelical or an orthodox or uh, Orthodox Christian or a Roman Catholic or a Lutheran or Episcopalian or, you know, Arminian Christian. This is a big week. This is a huge week. The majority of the Gospels fill this week. This is the suffering and death of Jesus. And every year I like to take a second, and this is uh, here at the end of my my time as, as your... Uh, your video short friend, um, this will be the last time I'll do this. But each time it's been important. Let's walk through Holy Week. Monday and Tuesday of Holy Week, pretty silent. Jesus rides into Jerusalem on the royal donkey on Palm Sunday. Uh, David's son, David's Lord, to David's city, Jerusalem, the city of peace. To the sound of singing, Hosanna, save us, Lord, to the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He rides to his coronation, to his crucifixion, to his death. The sign above his head, which says, I-N-R-I, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Funny sort of king. He sets up shop in the temple, which is Monday and Tuesday of Holy Week. He sets up shop in the temple, and there he teaches. And there he comforts sinners. Very forgive. Wednesday of Holy Week is known as Spy Wednesday, as the enemies of the faith of Jesus, the enemies of Jesus, begin to work their darkness. Judas approaches the Pharisees, uh, the, the, the chief priests and the scribes, asking for money to betray Jesus. And then everyone is looking for the right time to do it. Maundy Thursday, aptly named Maundy from the Old English uh, mandatum sum, a new command I give to you, is Mandate Thursday. Thursday of Holy Week, we hear of Gethsemane. But in the, in the church, we hear about the institution of the Lord's Supper. We also hear about the Passover and its connection to Jesus's crucifixion, especially in John's gospel, uh, where John sort of, makes it very plain that as the lambs are slain at twilight, so the Son of God dies. The firstborn for all. Thursday is the night in which Jesus was betrayed into the hands of sinners. A cohort of soldiers greet him. Matthew describes Judas as telling the, the guards that the one I love on, and then kiss is the one to seize. Pandemonium breaks out as, as Jesus is seized by over 100 soldiers. We'll talk about that later on this week. Good Friday, one of the holiest days of the Christian faith. Between the sixth and the ninth hour, your son, his son, God's son dies on the cross for you. The righteous for the unrighteous. Blood and water flow from his pierced side as he gives up his life a ransom for many. Truly, this was the Son of God. Easter Vigil is Saturday. Uh, the reading on the Lenten side of that is Mark is, is Matthew 27, the Pharisees arguing about guards being placed at the tomb and how the disciples are going to try to steal the body. Jesus sleeps died, dead, a corpse in a new tomb hewn out of rock, Joseph of Arimathea's tomb. 
the vigil service, highlights the candle, the Paschal candle, the symbol of the resurrection as the sun goes down and it becomes Easter. And Easter, the cry goes out, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed, alleluia. This week, I invite you to soak it in and, and cherish it as this is the reality of your faith. The one born king of the Jews dies on a cross. And then on the third day is raised from the dead. In the deep dive, our deep dive study, myht.higherthings.org, this week, we're going through the Gospels. We're taking a step away from Romans, and we're going through the Gospels, two chapters every day. Matthew 26 and 27 was Friday. Mark 15, uh, 14 and 15 is Monday. Tuesday, we're going to go through Luke 23 and 24. And then Wednesday, we're going to go through John 18 and 19. And I invite you to read those texts too. Join us in reading those texts as that's the way to prepare for the Lord's death in church, but also in the scriptures. As you hear about his love for you, God's love for you and his son. That's Holy Week. Just a quick run through. And I hope it's a gift to you. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.